Shalom, brothers and sisters. All honor and glory goes to the Most High Yahweh in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. And brothers and sisters, my prayer for Zion is that we be restored, restored to our former glory, restored to our jobs and our duties as holy men, as righteous men and women of the earth, restored to our kingship, our queenship, restored to our land, restored to our rest, restored to our peace. My prayer for Zion is to be holy, righteous, and filled with the knowledge and wisdom of the Most High Yahweh. My prayer for Zion is that they repent of their sins and turn from all iniquity and transgressions. My prayer for Zion is for us to love one another in the spirit of truth and honesty and righteous judgment toward every man. My prayer for Zion is for us to come together underneath the right hand, you know, underneath the power of the Most High Yahweh in whom His Son is sitting at the right hand right now Zion my prayer for Zion is to have your day of rest from all the suffering all the hurt all the pain all the name calling all the hanging all the stabbing all the shootings from all those enemies that hate us and lurking about us always round about us ready to do what it takes to kill us or to steal from us or to wean us into their direction. My prayer for Zion is to be protected by the hand of the Most High in all things. My prayer for Zion is that Zion will seek the Most High, seek His kingdom in all things that all things may be added to us as in the days before. My prayer for Zion is us to return to our former glory. For us to return to being the masters of the earth. For us to return to ruling the earth. And to put the subjects of the of the kingdom underneath subjection to the Most High and His holy will. My prayer for Zion is for our King to return and rule with thus saith the Most High. My prayer for Zion is that we reach out to one another and support one another in this time of trials, tribulation, and suffering and to be there for one another regardless of whatever emotional thoughts that may trigger in your mind. Hallelujah, Zion. May the Most High bless your feet. May He bless your feet and should you with the gospel of the Most High, the true uncut gospel, Zion. Not from the thoughts of men, but from His own Holy Word who came and spoke to each and every one of us life and life everlasting through the knowledge and wisdom and obedience of the most high he performed those duties and showed us how to do the same O Zion let us return to the ways of righteousness and holiness and display those works out in this world to one another and to all the other nations as our forefathers did when they encountered them they kept holiness and righteousness on them which caused some of those heathens, some of those Gentiles to convert to follow the ways of the Most High for they knew that it was righteous and true. Let us be pure of heart. Let us be merciful. Let us be meek. Let us be poor in spirit. Let us accept our persecution for righteousness sake. When men revile you, bless the Most High. 
Don't curse him. Bless him. Rejoice and be glad. For even the prophets before you were persecuted. Accept what you have to accept. For this little period of time that we are going through is just a cloud in the air that would disappear. It's just a puff of smoke, a spray of mist. As soon as it appears, it disappears. It is steam shot up into the air that will fade away into nothing. Sacrifice everything for the Most High. Zion, hear these words. Give up everything. Remember, this is a time of grace and mercy. Show grace and mercy unto your brothers and sisters, even when they are your enemies. I'm talking about your own brothers and sisters who hate you, who persecute you on these channels, who persecute you in the comment sections, who persecute you in the emails, and some even in person. Love them. Show them the obedience to the Son of the Most High when He told you to love your neighbors yourself. Love your enemy, Zion. Love the very children that he chose to be his own inheritance. Love the ones that are walking in his image. Some of them may be your enemy, but you still ought to love them, Zion. Love your, your 12 tribe brothers and sisters and those that convert and become as though as one born in the land, love them as well. Love the household of Yasharal and his fullness of it. Turn to the Most High in all things. Get a full understanding of the house of Yasharal. It is a merciful house, like the Most High had mercy on you. It is a long suffering house like he long suffered with you. It is a peaceful house like he granted peace in your life. It is a restful house like he has given some of you rest. It is a meek house. So be meek to your neighbor. That's right. Use the fruits of the Spirit every day, every hour, every which way you can. Glorify the name of our Father in all your works that you do. For He will be glorified with or without you. And I prefer with. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. May the Most High bless you, Barak you. May His peace and His rest rest upon you. Through all trials and tribulations, come through smiling and glorifying, and through all pains and sufferings and whatever you're going through, say Hallelujah, because the Most High is going to bring me home, and I'm not going to go through this no more. Let the Most High fill your heart, fill your soul, fill your being up. Let the glory of Him rest upon you, Zion. Give way, give place for it. Move aside. Move aside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom.